There was a question in my last video in the comments uh, whether I really measured <coughs> how long it took to compute something on the CPU or if it was just uh, measuring the start for, uh, of the program. Um, it's about this program. A program that basically does nothing. It has an integer sum and it adds all numbers from 0 to 999,999,999 nine, 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 um, sums it up and let's take a look at the disassembly And yeah, let's take a look at the code step by step, and we really see in the assembly code that this is not optimized away. So we have still uh, initializing the stack frame. That's okay. Yeah, this. Uh, reduces the stack pointer so we have enough space on the stack now this uh, load the constant zero and store it to this position and the load constant zero store it to this position is basically initializing i and the variable sum uh, to zero and then it jumps this is the branch command to main plus 60 in main plus 60 we have a load command um, so we load the va uh, variable i we load uh, the constant um, this is uh, address program counter plus 16 which is uh, main plus 88 which is this is not a disassembled commando this is uh, a accidentally disassembled part of the data of this function so the, um, this is the return instruction and after the return instruction there is a constant stored in the code and this constant is loaded here this constant is the 1 million, uh, the 100 million. These both values are compared to each other and branch if less or equal to main plus 32. So if it's less or equal, uh, then branch to 32. This is here the beginning of the loop directly after this branch. Um, otherwise, the stack. Uh, frame is restored and the function is returned in the loop body. We have load i and sum and then add i to the sum and store i uh, store the sum back to its uh, position on the stack. Then load i, add a 1 and store it back to its value. And then we already have 60 position 60 so this is basically very unoptimized code and now let's run GCC with a different parameter with O3 and now let's disassemble main and there we have yeah uh, the optimizer removed basically everything. It removed the whole loop and it also removed the stack frame and just contains a return function. That's so, so far, that's what the compiler is capable of to really uh, um, remove unnecessary code. And yeah. But what I measured in the last video was not the optimized code, it was the unoptimized code. 
so it really shows how much faster is uh, ARM native in comparison to x86 emulated on ARM. Let's take a uh, look at the x86 binary. Uh, that was not the right thing. Now we are in the x86 environment. GDB is not installed. Okay, GDB is now installed in the JRoot environment. And now let's debug it. And here we have our x86 code. You see, there are much less um, instruction in x86, but on the other hand, um, ARM can, in, can execute nearly every instruction in one cycle, while x86 can, uh, needs either three cycles or in highly optimized uh, modern x86 CPUs also in one cycle or even less but with lots of silicon and additional transistors, billions of transistors just to make one control flow uh, faster. So long live the multi-core CPU. We also have here the stack frame and this leaf function um, and we have yeah, much more optimized code because we have we store 0 into this stack position, 0 into this stack position we also jump to this uh, position we compare a interme uh, immediate uh, constant in the expression uh, in directly in the op uh, instruction with a complex address which is really awesome with x86 but uh, has also its disadvantages because of the complex instruction set then uh, compare and jump back and this is the uh, the loop body and we yeah we load this sum, we add i to the sum, we subs uh, yeah, we inc increment i and this is basically it. So ARM needs at least twice as much ins as instructions to do the same but Intel is some um, kind of more complicated to build. I think that should be it for today. I hope you learned a bit about it and now you believe me that um, I really measured how many uh, in computation can be done by these processors and not how fast it is to load the executables. Launix. Vorsprung durch Software.